Okay, so uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm sort of, um, uh, yeah, so I was asked about a Course in Miracles teacher, or, or I won't mention the name, uh, with blindness. Um, and it's a great question. I mean, this is the way I sort of see it. You know, Ramana had, you know, had ailments before he left. Um, you know, Jesus was going around having all kinds of miracles happening while he was walking around. Uh, Hawkins had 23 illnesses released through applying um, the counselling. I've had many miracles with my health, as I've shared in many videos, um, by the counselling of beliefs. Um, now, um, and Hawkins actually did describe this, I have this as before. So, you know, Hawkins felt, as my understanding was, you know, he had a, he had like a, a, karmic, a karmic contract, you know, there was something he wanted to do. Uh, like a karmic mission, shall we say, to, to bring certain teachings out. I think, as I, and I could be wrong, I might get a bunch of Hawking students commenting on my video, but I think he felt that he'd fulfilled, you know, th his work. And, uh, and then uh, uh, some kind of old age illness came upon him. Uh, uh, I might, might get this slightly wrong, who knows. But, and then he thought, okay, well, I've done the work I need to, like, whatever it is, I'll let it take me out. I don't need to, like, cancel it. And, and I, I've done my work, you know, so something has to take me out of here. So this thing is coming. So let it take me out, you know, and I'm, I'm not the body. Mm -hmm. So he, let, he just started to let his, his body go. And then uh, his daughter came up to him and wasn't very happy. <laughs> so you know that's the type of thing that happens you know your daughter comes in so so he did the work again and he got he was fine again and so he carried on teaching for for a, a bit longer you know so he actually did the work he did he knew how to do it mm -hmm. but he wanted to he wanted out now he's done, I've done what I need to do it's time to leave this place I, mean, I, I wouldn't blame him Really, I mean, if you if you know how heavy this world is, mm. you know, like I've done my work, like let something take this body away, and so I can really go off. So, but then you know, it's like so. He, so something his his daughter was there, and there, so he did the work, he cancelled the beliefs, and he carried on teaching for a bit longer, and then something took him out, and he, he left. I think in his sleep or something. So, um, so sometimes some teachers want uh, want to leave and want something to let them take them out. For some of them. Yeah. Um, I think for some of them, um, uh, they may go into very advanced spiritual states and have not gone through those intermediary phases and have had that, those spiritual things of releasing illnesses. So they just go into very strong observer states. And therefore, whatever happens to the body, it's very detached. Mm -hmm. So there's not any need to... Ha even there wasn't the, the experience of letting illnesses go on the way to the observer. And one got there very quickly. And whatever, even if the karmic things that are happening in the body are happening, they're, they're just detached observing that. It doesn't really matter. There's no inclination to figure out how to release those things. So if the body gets an illness and drops off, so what? If that, I don't know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's like you're so detached and there wasn't any inclination ever to like be in there and like let things go. Um, I think, I, I know with Hawkins, he went through a lot of physical... And addiction suffering so I can see the benefit if you've gone through and repaired that for wanting that to go out into the world mm -hmm. as a teaching yeah. like you've got arthritis yeah. you've got a pain in your toe uh, you're wearing glasses so you know to share that information mm -hmm. on the way you know and what what can alleviate suffering in whatever form even if these people don't want enlightenment if you can just say I cancel my high blood pressure uh, I'm an infinite being oh. that can alleviate suffering to somebody. Mm -hmm. So some teachers, uh, I'm pretty sure Jesus would have had the awareness if he wanted to teach people how to let go of illnesses. Or probably just being around his presence would be enough. Just like you have someone just come to Mother Teresa with cancer and it disappears mm -hmm. just by being in her presence. So it's very, very catalytic to be in the presence of a, of a, of a, a very high enlightened teacher. But they'd also have the ability to to guide you or give you a prayer or a counseling of belief, just say this and it will go. Have absolute faith. Mm -hmm. Say this, I counsel my belief in it, have 100% faith and just do it. Uh, and if you trust your teacher with 100% you do it with 100% conviction, it will be very powerful. Um, and 
you know, the thing of then, um, but also as well, you know, I don't want to make it, you know, I should also say, you can't see, I, mean, I have said it before, you can't see how much karma is in a thing and how much you have to clear with whatever, whatever illness or affliction or person affects you. Like, you know, Hawkins would say, I would agree with him, right? Say, like, the average spiritual seekers have 15 to 20 lifetimes, you know. So, um, so the amount, of, I think everything is clearable, I, my, my intuition is, but you may not have enough time to clear it. Yeah. That's a problem. So you don't know. And it's not like I'm going to say, I can't see your car, you know, someone gives me a question like, uh, I don't know, I've got high blood pressure, you know, can you tell me it'll be, if I say this, it'll be gone in two days. He's like, I can't sort of say it's going to be gone in two days. I can't even say it'll be gone by the time you die. Because I can't see how heavy mm -hmm. the karma is. Mm -hmm. And, or you could say, you know, you could say like, if this lifetime you're going to only live for 80 years, and the last 10 lifetimes you've been doing something, uh, and you're now like age 75, and you're going to start cancelling your beliefs. Um, you don't, you see, I, I'll give you an example. I mean, like, I went to see Hawkins. He had 23 illnesses, and I asked him a question, and I had, one of my illnesses was gout. You know, he said, and he said to me something like, pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's caused pain to others in this <coughs> lifetime and others. Because he saw the message. Mm. You know, oh. obviously, for the last 15 lifetimes, I've been a pain to other people. A real bad, <laughs> a real bad pain to them. And so the guilt, you know, of inflicting so much pain on people for so long has manifested in this lifetime as horrific gout pain mm -hmm. in my feet. So if I was only, if I did, if I was a pain in the neck, for probably pain in the foot, probably, by the way, but <laughs> pain for only one lifetime, I might do, I cancel my belief in gout for like, you know, one week and it might be gone for good. Mm. But if I had been a pain in the pain to other people's life for 10 lifetimes, you know, and I, you know, I might have to like clear it for a lot longer before I start oh. to see things weakening. So you don't, you, you can't see, you know, like you might say like, oh, well, I cancelled it for a week and it won't, and you've been cancelling it for like two years and it hasn't gone for you. But it's not that simple. Yeah. I can't give you like, do this and tomorrow it'll be gone. Because there's things that can't be seen, unless you've got like a, a kinesiologist Mm. Uh, otherwise, it's the, there's complex karmic stuff as to how quickly or how slowly mm. uh, things are released. Um, and uh, so, uh, I forgot even why I'm talking about this. So, uh, so I don't know what. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I do remember. Yes, teach, spiritual teachers. Okay. So, um, so, yes, so some teachers will know how to clear things and will clear things. Some teachers may not be interested in clearing things or even finding out or may not even know how to clear things and not interested in clearing it. And so you'll see them get, get an illness, a grave illness, and pass away. Uh, some of them may actually want the illness to take them out. Uh, and actually, I think with something like blindness. Um, oh, there was a very interesting story. It's really interesting on one of Hawkins. So Hawkins um, is not a great story. I mean, it, it is a great story, but I can understand why people... Anyway. So he was going blind, you know, later on he, I mean, earlier on he cancelled his belief in blindness and he's, he got his full eyesight. And then later on as he got very old, blindness started to come back. Something like that. So I, I, I may get this slightly wrong. And so they did some muscle testing with Susan. And uh, it seemed to be like, you know, the blindness was probably something like from a past Buddhist life where you don't want to be looking at temptation in the world. It's very really interesting. <laughs> mm. I could understand that. Like, I, mean, I don't know. You could, maybe if you were a monk or something, yeah. you, know, and you, like, you know. You don't want to sort of see the temptation in the world, you know, and get, yeah. get, uh, get sort of hooked in. Oh, so you, I, yeah. I'd rather be blind right. than lose my connection to God, you know, because oh. you really want to go inwards. Yeah. And certain things, if you see them in the world, are very tempting. So I could understand why some of these Buddhist monks go, I'd rather be blind than look at this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you, you, it's, I can see, the, I can see the, the spiritualness, their intention in it. You know, I will not even look at the world. I'll go into the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And then it's like that can sort of get converted into going into mm -hmm. going, becoming blind to the temptation. Mm -hmm. I want to be blind to the temptations, you know, blind mm -hmm. to, to the things that 
you know, hooked in, you know, the seven deadly sins, mm -hmm. you know, you know, if you're a donut addict, you know, I want to be blind now, I don't want to see another donut, so I'm going to go blind, or, or, <laughs> <laughs> so that could be one way of not, not picking up another donut, so, so, oh, so why these things, you know, and so it was very interesting, you know, so that was the reason, so why am I going blind, you're going past lifetime, oh, Buddhist, why could it be? Was it oh to was it to, to not see temptation? Oh, it was to not see temptation in the world. Mm. Okay, so you can pick up these things. So different. So it's it's in, yeah. So hopefully that's been some kind of yeah. You know, but it's interesting, you know. And uh, did spiritual students ask a lot of questions like why did why why is this teacher died of an illness or yeah. why is this teacher smoking cigarettes or why did this teacher get angry in a temple, mm -hmm. you know or. They're all bad because they're phonies, because they got angry and they smoked cigarettes and, uh, and uh, they died of cancer, so they're not the real deal. You get all kinds of uh, funny comments on spiritual mm -hmm. teachers. Yeah.